If I could give an advice to the regular sim racer out there watching this, it would be to don't be afraid to admit that you don't know what you're adjusting. There are so many different parameters that you can adjust nowadays and actually knowing what they do and what effect it has on the steering feel, on the pedals and the ergonomics of what you're trying to do is, is a good thing. Learning is a good thing and we will help you to learn what to adjust and make it as easy as possible here at Ace Attack. So in terms of race car ergonomics, it's very important where you're sitting in your simulator rig, where your eyes are in relation to the screen, where the pedals are, the seat inclination of where you're sitting, the tilt of the steering wheel. So for us here, we have 600 millimeters to our eyes because that's at the point where these 49 inch curved screens have the best compromise between the field of view and at the point where it's too close to your eyes and you'll start to strain from viewing for prolonged periods of time. Here, for instance, we've designed a custom bracket for our simulator rig to have the best compromise between field of view of where your eyes are in relation to the screen without you becoming nearsighted and getting headaches. In the simulator itself, once you get down, you may see that the seating position here is reclined. It's at an angle and that's unfortunately a compromise. So it can both drive GT, but also in a formula driving position as such. Uh, in a real formula car, you'd be even more laying down and the pedals will be much higher up. But to ensure that we can test everything up here in this simulator and any car, then we have to do a compromise between a formula and a GT driving position. Your arms and your shoulders should be positioned in such a way that the steering wheel gives you around 50 degrees, 50, 45 degrees of arc. So you can use both your shoulder muscles and your pictorial muscles and have the most control on the steering wheel. It's important that you don't sit in your simulator like you do in your road car with extended arms because that's a relaxing position that doesn't give you a lot of control. But in a simulator, you're trying to sit like you are in a racing car because you need the control and the confidence to throw the car around and catch the oversteer. All of these things you may think may not do a difference, but because you're lacking the sense of where the grip is in the car and when you're about to slip, when you're on the limit, all of these different things have higher importance when you're racing. So these have to be absolutely perfect.